what began as an afternoon spin-off of Good Morning America has evolved into GMA3, what you need to know. It's a mix of information and inspiration, plus a healthy dose of news you can use. The show is gaining traction in the afternoon, according to Variety, and so we thought good time to send entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon to the GMA3 set. Their ease is evident. Hey, we are getting out to a great start. Their camaraderie helps them connect with millions of viewers who tune in on weekday afternoons to watch TJ Holmes, Amy Robach, and Dr. Jennifer Ashton interact with each other. We all have our lanes, and we all trust each other and respect each other and what we bring to the show. A recent hour featured Dr. Jen showing the best way to perform CPR. And you keep your arms straight. We put together um, in our hour every single day what we think viewers need to know and want to know. A typical show might go from serious to funny with stops in between. What's the correct balance and how did you find it? Um, I think you constantly evolve and tweak. I mean, when the show first started, it was you could do a full hour on nothing but COVID because that's all uh, that was going on in the world. Since then, it's become more of a mix. It's a balancing act. Executive producer Kat McKenzie is in charge of getting the balance exactly right. On this day, a segment featuring a new book by one of the Spice Girls was taped directly after an interview about the protests in Iran. Our benchmark is news. We are ABC News. We are of ABC News. We've made a, a strong effort to put our correspondents on, our embeds on, our consultants on, our contributors, um, because that's who we are. The ABC News Live platform streams each episode of GMA3, so these hosts have one foot in the present and the other in the future, all the while seeking to inspire, inform, and entertain. And we have a lot of fun doing it.